Um, some of my orphanages uh, also thought that I had sold them. Uh, at one point in time, my orphanage just called me up and or contacted me and said, you sold us? And I was like, no, I did not sell you. Um, uh, well, um, actually, no. Um, well, I, I had to, I, I, I mortgaged, I mortgaged Germany against, uh, against Panama, basically. In order for me to buy the land in Panama and stuff like that, there was a point in time, I believe, when I mortgaged, uh, I basically mortgaged Germany. And Germany found out about it. Uh, like, like I said, Germany contacted me or found out about it. And they're like, well, we're not going to let you. <laughs> we're not going to let you down, sir. Um, so like I said, they put their backs into it. Like I said, I had to mortgage certain certain properties, you know, in order to, to, to purchase Panama and be able to 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 have the money to build Panama and stuff like that. And you have to understand too, I mean I was paying I was just paying my own people really. Um but I had to mortgage but I had to mortgage um I mean I, I had to you know that the, there was there's a question of funds or financial financialness. Um so basically when I was building Panama uh, most people would have gone bankrupt and broke, and lots of people did go bankrupt and broke. You know, working like like there were lots of other people that that, that were trying to give it a go in Panama, and they all went broke and went bankrupt. And you know, I was the one who was buying them out because you know I had the I had that much money. You know, I mean, there are lots of people where Panama was just a big hole in the ground that you poured money into, or or, or poured resources and people into, or something like that. Like I said. Uh, you know, and, and I found ways around it. I found ways of, of breaking it up to where, because Panama in certain times of the year is basically this big flood of water where you can't really do anything. It's nothing but mud. And other part, other times of the year, it's actually a little bit manageable. Like there, 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 are, there are the, there's the extreme or what they call monsoon. And then there's the normal, um, uh, or something like that. Like, I don't know. Anyway, it was my work crew is working in Panama. And so, what we actually did is sometimes, especially during the war, like, like I said, during World War One, Panama, nothing happened at Panama. Panama was a ghost town, I believe. Um, you know, we had to break away from Panama for the for the wars, basically. There, there were wars and there was a civil unrest and all that stuff where basically, you know, I had to take people from Panama, I believe, or somewhere. Yeah, you know, because, you know, like in order to, to, to... I'm a company, you know, I mean, I have... You know, I have employees, I have people, you know, those are actually my people, my orphanages, the people from my cities and from my towns that were doing that. Like, it's not just, um, it wasn't, I wasn't just, you know, I'm more than a businessman. Like I said, I'm a creator of life forms and, and, and planets and stuff like that. And I was actually doing something on the earth. You know, I wanted Panama to be built and it was one of my great projects you know to harness the power of a river you know i thought it'd be cool and i thought it'd be neat and nobody yeah i didn't know i don't think anyone has done had done it then or so, i don't i don't really know like i don't know if if i was the first or not on panama but basically i was doing panama and uh it was my lock there were my locks my lock designs and everything I'm Brian, I guess you could say it. Uh, you can call me Brian or you can call me Lucifer, little Lucifer, but basically same thing. I mean, it was my personal work. I mean, it was a project I wanted done. So, me, Lucifer Star. I wanted to do Panama. So anyway, and it, you know, it was like 1700 or 1800. It was my idea and and I was the one with the finances and everything else like that. And like I say, some of the ore, or some of the metal was going to going to Germany and other places and a few other places like i said there's a lot of ore or or metal that was coming off of panama and and they were smelting a lot of it you know on site as much as they could but you know there's just too much to be smelted or something i don't really know like like you'd have to ask the panama people i mean the the people who were doing it i said it was a huge it was like a world building site for the longest times so like there's a lot of people there like thousands millions of people working on panama you know, and the, and and for every person working on the actual canal, there's also people working on the on the on the water channel that was going to be underneath. You know, and through the mountains. 
Like I said, it goes all the way down to the Cape. All the way. It's it, it, it it's like a 500 year or 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 200 year or at least you know a three, a three or four generation project. It's huge. It's huge. You know, I think two different pipelines, and they goes all the way down to goes all the way down to the Cape. So, with the water from the river, it uses it all up, all the way going down. Like I said, it actually crosses underneath that little. There's that little sand pillar thing right there, and there, the pipeline actually goes from Panama and goes all the way down into Colombia. So that's where the water for all the water comes from, I think. So anyway, yeah. Anyway, for some reason it's not in... I think, I think it's because it wasn't, you know, people don't really know exactly about how we harness the river and it goes all the way down to the Cape or something like that. I knew. <clears throat> all my Germans knew, all my people knew. And I think they were like, well, they're going to discourage you and say that you don't exist anyway, so we're going to let you tell them. So so anyway, my people were were just waiting for me to mention it out to the public, that basically about Panama and how far the water goes from that river. You know, because people, you know, they were already saying that it wasn't my project or other people were trying to say that they owned it or something like that. And it's like, well, there were stock, there were holders in the stock or whatever, or holders in whatever. I mean, I think, I mean, there were other people that were part of it. And anyway, I was really generous with, with the payments and the money. I mean, lots of people got, had lots of money from it, basically. And, but anyway, though, but I was the one who, who thought it, thought of it and financed it. And like I said, I was, I was using Germany, basically, to basically build it. And like I said, I think at one point in time, Germany had to defend Panama or something like that. They went there. Well, I think what, what happened was was there's some scientists, the nuclear scientists or something like that, the people who built the nuclear bombs for Panama that were being used over there, they were captured by somebody and somebody was 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 gonna was gonna was tor trying to torture the nuclear information out of them or something like that. And so I think Germany went and um, got them or freed them basically, because they were um, they were just scientists. They were just people that that, that had been doing my nuclear bombs. Are nuclear explosives basically, and they were just working there, you know, just to help me and you know, and some I think somebody wanted to use the bombs for war or something like that or something. I don't really know. Like I said once the world saw that my nuclear weapons worked and that they were real, it was almost like the race was on or something for some stupid reason. Like somebody was I don't really know. I don't get it. I don't understand conquering. I w I'm not a conqueror. Like people would say blah blah blah, and I, and I would tell them I'm not a conqueror. I haven't. I've never conquered anything. I've defended. I've protected. You know, but I'm not a conqueror. We build our own stars, and we um, and we live on and we live on the planets around them. It's the way we do things. It's the way I do things. That's why I've 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 lived. That's why I've actually existed or lived over a hundred trillion years is because. Everybody else left me alone. You know, I was just Lucifer Star, just this happy little, you know, I was the builder of the stars. You know, I built, that's what I did, I built stars and, um, and planets. And my people lived on them. My, my workers, my life forms, they lived on the, on the planets around the stars. So, you know, I'm not a conqueror. You know, the, the matter is created, the particles are created by the sun. And then they form up, and we form them into planets. You know, it's billions of years it takes to, to, to do what you see here. And, on, and, and, and around the other stars. So anyway, whatever. You know, it doesn't really matter. Um, and for a few other races, I might have even used time travel to, to help them have planets or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Anyway, that's complicated. It's really complicated. So whatever. Well, like I said, many people call me crazy and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, whatever. You know, maybe in 10 or 20 generations or in 100 generations, you'll actually get a clue or an idea of what, what, what was going on, what happened, and why. Like I said, it was a lot of work to get America and to get everything and to make sure everybody was safe. You know, like I said, the worst thing that, 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 I, could, that I could ever think of was a bomb falling on one of my orphanages. Or one of my places. 
Like, I didn't really want to see any children dead. And even my people said the same thing. They didn't want to see children dead. They didn't want people to die. So, anyway, though, but whatever, you know, it gets called complicated and really bad. And in the end, like like I said, even in China, like, like I tried to have them, I didn't want them to nuke the cities before the people, I wanted the people evacuated before they nuked the cities. And we tried to warn them three days beforehand. But some idiot wanted to do like some sort of stupid surprise attack. And it's like, it's not a surprise. Like, I don't want those people dead to, to die. And I think they actually changed the location of where they were going to drop the bomb to the evacuation site or something stupid like that. Like, I wasn't trying to kill people. Yeah, whatever. You know, it's over with now. People have already dead and tears have already been cried for them and everything else like that. Oh well.